Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I think I wanted to go into the day four progression of the Righteous Fire Inquisitor. Remember, we are SSF on Sentinel League, and we're going a little bit slower this go around than the last time because we wanted to stretch out the series. Uh, also, I've just been a little, little, I don't want to say the word burnt out, so I'm going to say tired. Uh, but things are picking up again, they're becoming a lot more fun. So I believe in the last video, I talked to you guys about how I kind of set up my harvest tab um, and a little bit about the tabs in general. So simple TLDR, because we are in an SSF environment, I turn to harvest crafting as my main source of gear upgrading. And the main reason is you find harvest, you use what's given to you. It doesn't feel like you're just spending your chaos orbs or your alchemy orbs. Uh, and then later on, we transition into essence where we craft our helmet, but that's not for now. So I want to go ahead and show some upgrades. Uh, I think this is the same weapon as last time. I will be working on recombinating a new weapon. My plans for recombinating are basically I'm spamming reforge fire in harvest on a weapon in hopes of getting a good weapon. When I don't get a good weapon, but I get something usable like plus one fire, I throw it in this tab along with uh, say like fire multi or T1 burn or whatever. And then eventually I'm going to try to recombinate them together and try to get a new weapon. Um, there's so many different methods for crafting, but this is just something I'm doing on the side. Uh, so that's one way. Uh, helmet is still the same helmet that has not changed. Still have the same chest piece. Um, I don't remember if I showed you guys the Death's Rush we found. Uh, Death's Rush, I think we found it yesterday. Pretty sick. Gave us our main source of Onslaught, so I don't have to run an Onslaught flask anymore. And I just love Death's Rush. I ended up getting a new ring. This one's kind of crazy. So when I was in maps, I just had a random syndicate pop up. Um, it had T1 fire damage on it. Has a resistance... And then I unveiled Minimum Frenzy and then Crafted Life. So this is going to be on for a long time. Ended up switching amulets. Uh, so I did drop Chaos Res, but we gained some Dot Multi and some armor on our amulet right now. Definitely want to replace this with like a plus one, but for now this will do. Also the deck space helps a lot. Still the exact same shield from Act, I don't know, 3? <clears throat> Maybe Act 4. Uh, the shield is slapping, so pretty happy with it. Same boots, trying to get new boots. Same gloves, trying to get new gloves. And unfortunately, my belt downgraded because I tried to recombinate one of the belts I was using with a similar belt, and then it shit itself. So, sadly, um, I lost like 20 Chaos Res on my belt, which sucks a lot. I also lost like 300 armor, but we'll work on another one. I have uh, another Stygian Vice just sitting here, but it's only 75. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for that. As for the actual Atlas... You can see what we have been doing. Um, so I've pushed myself all the way over to here for intelligence gathering. And the main reason for the intelligence gathering is whenever I am mapping, you'll notice I will build safe houses without ever doing the league mechanic. Or sorry, um, uh, betrayal. And that's solely from the uh, investigation intelligence from right here. And then I think my goal is I'm just going to open like a red safe house because... Not a red safe house, but I'm gonna like, uh, I'm gonna put like Jun on here on red tier mission because it's going to boost the level of the safe houses from each one that spawns, thus giving good XP. Uh, so that will be a little bit later. So, right now, as for our six link plans, there's a couple of options. So, I am gonna opt out for the cage strat. So, to give it a quick explanation of what I'm doing, the only tier 11 map I have is cage. Now, this pretty much works with any map of any tier. So, the only tier 11 map I have is Cage, which means when a tier 11 map drops, it will roll into Cage. There are some exceptions, like say you're running Waste Pool and that's connected to Wharf. Technically, Wharf can still drop, but say I'm running like, say I'm running Wasteland, Wasteland is not attached to any tier 11s, <clears throat> which means when a tier 11 drops, it has to be Cage because of the way like my atlas is set up right a little complicated you don't really have to do stuff like this this is also what i kind of enjoy about ssf is being able to kind of like mold your own adventure or mold your own journey it doesn't have to be the most efficient way but it's a way you thought up of a way you thought of uh, and that's what makes it really fun for me and cage specifically drops the divination card i will show you right over here oh that's not the right div card chains that bind uh, i ran one map and found two and it wasn't even that juiced so Really excited for Chains That Bind. Only downside is if I get like pure energy shield or pure evasion, that's kind of bricked for me, but at least it's a divine orb. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much about it. I'm going to go pop in a tier uh, 14 map to run real fast. It's my 
highest tier on the Atlas. Yeah, I haven't done a T14 yet. So if we're ZDPS, you know exactly why. We are running with uh, still level 19 gems, not even quality yet. Running a literal basic four link fire trap, nothing special there. It says 21, but that's just from plus the gems. Actually, wait, I have, I have plus two. Oh yeah, I have plus one fire with plus one fire. I'm also not going to use Sentinel here because the mobs are just going to take ages to kill. I like to do the Sentinel for lower tier. Oh, give me one sec. I'm on my Warcraft keybinds again. Okay, there we go. I also opted into Harby, and the main reason for Harby right now is to get Orbs of Horizon. I've gotten a few with Tuya, um, but the reasoning for Orbs of Horizon is whenever I get those tier 11 maps that are connected because I'm running the other maps, I can Orb of Horizon them into Cage. I'm going to take these. This is a good base. Also, if you guys haven't seen, new Fire Trap MTX. Looks kind of cool, not gonna lie. All right, we got T15, that's weird. We keep climbing, I can't uh, specifically get the, uh, um, whatchamacallit, the tier 11, but I can keep going up in map tier, which is kind of funny. It'll drop eventually, so it doesn't really matter. Yep, but that is pretty much the uh, character progression right now. So, as always, if you guys like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox, except for Sundays. Uh, and I'll have this character's POB linked in the comments down below. Uh, I think I did also swap out my Cluster Jewel. I rolled a Burning Bright, so we're just using this for AoE since... Because I don't have Maven Boots right now, AoE is like my only source of clear. I also just realized I gotta go do Uber Lab. So, uh, yep, that's a big one too. See you guys all later.